Karen Schindel, Joanne Schindel, the Laptop Sisters here in Mexico. I am interviewing, continuing to interview my sister. Um, so in the previous video, you mentioned that with the financial downturn in both Canada and the United States, and a lot of us lost our investments, our houses, whatever, uh, you saw the opportunity to move to Ecuador, right? You had been looking at it already, but yes. it was what made you... It pushed us. Okay. So can you tell us about... You said you lived on about a third of the money that you spent normally in Canada. Was that the same standard of living? Did that change? Did it go up, go down? Can you tell us? Actually, it went up. Uh, we can afford to eat out more often. Uh, in Canada, we very seldom ordered alcohol while we were out. Um, here, we do it on a more regular basis uh, at the restaurant. Um, we would seldom have dessert or an appetizer, let alone both in the same meal. Here we can do that um, and still spend a lot less money. Uh, we go back to Canada, uh, twice, I go back twice a year. Um, Kevin doesn't always make it back. Um, so our lifestyle is better. We can afford to go to the beach, a holiday. In Canada, we often couldn't afford to go on a holiday. We could only afford to visit family. Um, Commitments that kind of stuff um, was, you know, the la at least the last ten years. Once my husband retired, we couldn't afford holidays any longer. Right, because you were basically like most people, strapped. Yes, living to the limit, kind of thing. Yes. So or passed it on credit cards, <laughs> <laughs> like most people. <laughs> Statistic-wise, certainly. So, in when you were living in Ecuador, we, did you manage to get to other South American countries? Oh yeah, we, got, we were down in Peru, um, usually twice a year down at the beach. Occasionally we went to the beach in Ecuador. We preferred the Peruvian beach um, because? because the food was better, um, was one of the reasons. Uh, it was spicier. Um, Ecuador tends to have a more neutral, um, blander, uh, herbs and stuff. That they like our Australian friends. Yeah, like our Australian friends. <laughs> Or, or our British friends. Yeah. Um, there are Sorry. certain areas of Ecuador that are spicier. Down at the coast is better than in the mountains where we were. Uh, we were at an elevation at 8,300, so we were way up in the mountains. But that's what makes um, the temperature moderate all year round. And less bugs live. Uh, no bugs. No, very. Don't think I had a mosquito bite in Cuenca. Very few flies. No screens on your windows. It was great that way. We loved it. The people were fantastic. The culture is wonderful. The only thing I could complain about would be the food. <laughs> so did you actually have central heating? Was that no, common? No, no central heating. No, no um, air conditioning. There is air conditioning down at the coast. Um, a lot of people, ex specifically the expats, will um, have a heater in their bedroom uh, for what is their winter, July and August. Um, because it does get kind of cold um, when you're sitting around doing nothing or watching TV or something. If you're out in the sunshine, it's really comfortable. Um, the expats are like family. They, you're, they become your extended family, and it's, it, it really is a wonderful lifestyle being an expat. It really is. Okay, so in Ecuador, what is the extent of a tourist visa? Like just, it's not very good. It's only 30 days. 30 days? Or six, 90 days, sorry. Three, Three months. months, sorry. So that's what I thought I, Okay. Okay. And then, but um, the to get a long, longer term visa um, isn't that difficult. Uh, what the current things are right now, I'm not really sure. It was only like um, 900 US dollars plus 100 for every dependent. But those things change so quickly and it really does depend on who you talk to and what day what it day is. it is and you know what the rules really are uh, it could be very frustrating the paperwork we ran into a visa problem ended up being in Peru um, <clears throat> having to go to Colombia and just you know ended up back in Canada for a short period of time because we got hit with a penalty which is nine months out of the country they don't care what country you go to <laughs> but you can't come back to Ecuador um, for nine months. So we got hit with a penalty at one point and ended up in Canada for, I don't know, six or seven months. So if you take out a three-month tourist visa, 
is that only permitted for a year or can you be a perpetual tourist? no it's only allowed once a year um getting a visa for six months or something in your own country is far easier you and mean applying, applying while you're in, while your, home you're in your home country um and then getting an extension we didn't have any problems with the first third uh 90 day extension after that it was when we were trying to get a more permanent um, visa that we ran into problems. And, and it's really a lot of it was miscommunication. We went out of the country and came back um, five hours too early, not knowing we were back in the country illegally on the old visa because they don't tell you. You know, and it just um, created problems because we were in the country for, at that point, six weeks before we knew we were even illegal. Because we were trying to be legal. <laughs> So, you so know, live and learn. Yeah, it's it's different language, different rules, um, and you have to be respectful of the country that you're trying to be li a permanent resident of, right? Uh, it worked out for us because now we're in Mexico. Here it's six months at a time, and you just have to leave for three days before you can come back. Well, we'll get into that in, a, in, a, another, <laughs> in another interview. Okay. Yeah, anyways. <laughs> okay, great. So... Okay. What oh, awesome. No, not right now. So we don't want these to be too long. Hopefully they're, um, you find them informative. If you do, we would love a comment. Uh, if it's on Facebook, give our like button some love. Um, and follow us. Uh, we'll be doing a YouTube and Facebook. Um, you'll find both Joanne and I on those social medias. And shoot us some questions what you might want to know about Ecuador about Mexico but we're not on Mexico yet and about and about why we might be doing what we're doing how we got here and you know whatever you want to know then just uh, shoot us a question okay Bye. Karen Schindel and Joanne Schindel <laughs> the laptop sisters I never realized we said it differently <laughs>